get them out of the water. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, this one will do just fine. Put them in the brig, and we'll deal with them later. These three also, let them join their captain. As for the rest, they're your snacks. Looks like they're finally awake. <laughs> they smell so tasty. <laughs> they do. <laughs> what is going on here? Sir, we, we were, we were just... Just what? Touching the captain's blood banks without permission? You know what that can get you. All of you, out. Okay, all of you, stand up and come to the door here. I'm taking you to the captain. When we get out onto the deck, I need you to stay as close to me as possible. Do not dally, do not look at anyone in the face. Keep your heads down and follow me closely. Understood? I told you not to look at them. Come on, the captain is waiting. Wait here. So shrill woman, the captain wants to speak with them privately. You three will be with me and the two quartermasters. Now stay here, I'll be right back. Captain, I have the prisoner you wanted. Ah yes, leave them here. I will deal with them. Yes ma'am. I certainly see they didn't lie. This is a healthy looking specimen. To be sure. I'll need to remember to reward my second command later. Hello there. Oh, shh. I'm sure you're frightened. Being locked up in chains like this for so long. Sorry about that. 
I was dealing with some annoying business, and I was unable to give you the proper attention you deserve. Hmm? You're asking where are you, and who am I? Well, you are in the captain's quarters of the Celestial Hell, and I am the captain, Nastaria. Hmm? What happened to your ship? Well, it sunk, dear, and most of the crew with it. All we could save was you four. What happened to your crew who lived? Well, they have been given to my head crew. They will be well taken care of. And you will get to see them soon. What do I mean by that? Well, you will find out soon enough. This way, my dear. Let's get you settled while we talk. There we are. Go ahead and lay back. Do you need anything? I can imagine you haven't eaten properly lately. I have some chilled wine here, and some nice fruit if you'd like. You're welcome, dear. Just be careful not to spill. The seeds are a bit bumpy at times. I hope it helps with soreness, at least a little bit. Now. Time for introductions. I've told you my name. What's yours? Well, it's lovely to meet you. But if you don't mind, I'll call you Pet. Suits you better. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you end up in that storm? Oh dear. What horrible luck. It always saddens me to hear stories like that. Well, things will be looking up for you from now on. Don't you worry. Hmm? Oh my, I'm afraid I may have given off the wrong idea. I wouldn't say I necessarily saved you. At least not in the sense that I plan on letting you go. Oh, shh, none of that now. Although, I do understand how you must feel. Well, it's really quite simple, dear. I'm a vampire. Did you not notice the fangs? Well, it is nighttime, I suppose. But yes, I am more or less what you are imagining. Undead. Drinking blood. The whole bit. But what you probably don't realize is that there is a quite few of us vampires who don't enjoy bringing harm to others. In fact, there are enough of us for an entire ship, which is where you are right now. So, rather than skulking all night, uh, draining people dry, we worked out a system. Having such a longer life means you can amass quite a bit of wealth. And we sail and take whatever we need. Rather than live a life of pain and toil, you'll be able to live comfortably with me on my ship. All I ask in return is a small amount of blood every so often. Oh, hush now. It's not really as bad as you think. I have quite a few rescued humans. I call them my special pets. The point of all of this is to spread my feedings and my crew's feedings across many different people. Each night, I have three or four of my pets on duty for feeding. I take a safe amount of blood from each. After that, I won't feed on them again until it's their turn again. That way, they have time to replenish their blood. See, dear? I'm very careful about it, and so is my crew. All the vampires here are. We care about you, and want to make sure you're safe. Why use people like you? Well, it's true that I'd rather take in willing participants, but there's such a stigma around surrounding vampires, so hardly anyone ever volunteers. Which is a shame, because it's quite a generous offer. Aside from the feedings, 
The only thing you'll need to do is to take some shifts helping with chores, or just as decoration. I like to have some of my pets dress up in cute outfits and sit around the ship for me to look at. Aside from that, I... Oh dear, are you crying? Pet, are you afraid? Shh, it's alright. I know it's a lot to take in. Your old life is over, and that's very hard to accept. I felt scared too. When I became a vampire, I was drained in my sleep, so I didn't even understand what was happening. At first, I just woke up to a figure leaping out of my bedroom window. I felt cold. Oh, so cold. And immediately, I was thirsty for blood. It was an awful experience, and by the time I figured out what was happening, I knew I didn't want it to happen to anyone else. That's why I do this, you see. I know it might seem like I stole your old life from you, but I swear I wouldn't hurt you. I'm saving you from a much worse fate. I promise you that as long as you live on my ship, I will take care of you and keep you safe. I am your captain now, and I take responsibility of that very seriously. You're still scared, aren't you? Oh, you poor thing. I wish there was something I could say to make you feel at ease. Although, perhaps, there is something that I could do instead, if you would be willing to hear me out. Perhaps we could do a small feeding now. Shh, don't panic. This is just an option, pet. You must give me some of your blood eventually, and I know it sounds frightening, but it's nowhere near as bad as I'm sure you're imagining. Keep in mind, I slept through being completely drained. Well, to be turned, you only have to lose enough blood to die. Ah, oh, sorry. Not helping. Uh, the point is, it's not actually painful. I hear it's a bit uncomfortable if you're not used to it. But it can also be very relaxing. It would help calm your nerves, and you wouldn't have to spend days worrying about it once you realize how easy it is. I don't want to pressure you into a decision, but I really think it would be the best choice just to get it over with. Oh, you'll do it? <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. We will take it slow, okay? Okay, here. Let's get you into a better position. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Good. Take a nice, deep breath, and let me look at that neck of yours. Mm. Good. You have a nice spot that's perfect to bite into. This will make it much easier for you than most. Go ahead. Lean your head back a bit. And to the left. There. Okay. Here I go. There we go. See? That wasn't so bad after all, was it? <laughs> oh, here. 
I keep some gauze near for moments like this. Press it to the bite marks. Don't worry. The bleeding will stop soon. Yeah, that's all. Well, usually feedings go on for much longer, but I already have a group of my pets ready to take their turn tonight. Like I said, I just wanted you to see how easy it was. What did you think? Hmm, just alright. No need to hide your true feelings, pet. I can tell you enjoyed it. Aww, <laughs> you're blushing. See? I knew it. Oh, you're so darling. I'm going to love dressing you up. We can talk about it later. But I'd love to show you off at my gatherings. The vampires love to get together and show off their humans. Sometime. But only if you're alright with it. I might let them even taste you as well. Don't worry, that's not something you need to think about tonight. Tonight, and for the near future, you can just relax. I'm afraid you'll have to share a bedroom, but my pets are all very kind. I'm sure you'll all get along famously. You're free to wander the ship and the lower deck. I just recommend that during the evening times you stay under the deck. It'll be safer for you. After that, we'll work you into the schedule. You'll only really have to take shifts with chores a couple times a week. Same with decoration duty. Your first real feeding session likely won't be for mm, a couple weeks at least. Um, come along now. Let's get you to your quarters. Yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? It's your home now. Just as much as it is mine. Now, I need to take care of some business, but... Gloria! Gloria? Over here, darling. Gloria, this is our new pet. She will show you around your new living quarters. You can have a proper bath and some new soft clothing. Welcome home, my little pet.